I'm talking to you, nigga. What's up? What's up? You in the lot of the, 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 the 96 right. Sonic? The fuck off the show. How many verses do a nigga gotta kill to get a deal? I wonder why the fakest niggas always acting like they real. These are questions that be on my mind. My shorty mad, she won't cause, I ain't got the time. You see, I'm making classics, these rappers is bastards. His flow, really tragic, you niggas is average. Got me plotting a takeover, that shit is a given. Charlie Sheen, 2011, my niggas is winning. Just had a talk with my mama, I'm so tired of drama. Just need a vacay crate, she from the Bahamas. You know I'm in the stew and yeah, your son is a problem. You ever say you gon' call and you never do call him. That's how I'm doing them lately. Say that she ain't feeling me. Give it some time. She still gon' date me. And I will call your name out. But on second thought, you don't deserve this clout. The, 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 the 96 Sonic? The fuck off the show. Real rapping. If you speaking on my name, make sure that it's facts. Because if you stab me in the back, then I ain't taking you back. We screaming out. I wish I did, but no, nigga, I do not. Fucking with my set, you guaranteed to get your crew not. And they be acting like they really won't beef, and they be lying in their songs about how they run in the streets. Like, okay, you a gangster now. I bet your mama and your family, they so damn proud. Y'all stuck on the ground while we all in the clouds. We got the key to life, and they ain't figured it out, but. We'll let you know how the story goes These rappers wash like them clothes That they still ain't full Lyrics to all your fucking songs Man, don't nobody know If rap had a draft Y'all wouldn't ever go pro But I ain't trying to make enemies You not fam, so you niggas ain't no kin to me You act tough, but don't really put no fear in me Fuck any nigga that don't see the vision clearly We screaming out, fuck the haters We everything they won't be Screaming out, fucking pay us, cause we don't do this shit for free. We screaming out, fuck the haters, we have everything they won't be. We screaming out, fucking pay us, cause we don't do this shit for free. I'm talking to you, nigga, what's up? What's up? You in a lot of what's up? Alright, man. Allow me to reintroduce myself, my name is. <laughs> Chat, no, this nigga didn't just get on a fucking computer. Bro, you you want stats? I, I, I'm looking for the facts. LeBron fans make you hate LeBron. That's just the reality. His fans make you hate him. Let's bring it. I see a veteran up in here, man. MJ. This the one that's my good friend, man. How you doing, brother? I know you got a lot to say about scams. I know you got a lot to That's his name, Dormant Scam. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the truth, bro. I hate to yeah. tell you. I'm going to be honest with you, Dan. Tell me, bro. As a Laker, you guys got to stop thinking of mediocre. The, the dude, now you already got on one channel, they say that. The player of the trash on his one channel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. He said all the players are trash. I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew. What you gonna do when Big Papa come for you? You can't just go try to find any player that's 6'10 and like say he's the center. Me. There's certain qualities that the center no is going to need me. playing next to AD. To me, I would be knocking on the door of the Clippers. I would have been knocking on the door for P.J. Tucker. I want you to take me what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man.
That nigga's tripping. Shut your bitch ass up! Robert. Robert. You're killing me, man! <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, man. Welcome back to the show, man. Welcome back to the show. We got some interesting news, man. Interesting reports just came out. Uh, people have been sending me it on um, Twitter. So... You know we got to talk about it, man. You know we got to talk about it. Shout out to all the members in the building, man. We got Eric James in the building. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. We also got BMW in the building. Max Christie, fuck you. You got a girlfriend? You be adding my bitch back to fuck her? Even though you're not getting any pussy from her. Okay, shout out to Satro, man. Um, We got Kevin in the building. What's going on, man? We also got... Let me see. Uh, okay, Eric, what's going on, man? King Vision, um, X Nose, EPK, um, Rosecrans, uh, Jordan Plus, Gorilla Smoke, Najee. Um, okay, Derek Mason, Constellar. Okay, we got Big Sean in the building. What's going on, man? Um. So yeah, we gotta just go ahead and, and get into uh get into these reports, man. Um Okay, ladies and gentlemen, man, y'all do me a favor and drop a like on the video. We got over sixty people in the building, only what, fourteen likes on the video. Y'all do me a favor and drop a like on the video. Um Okay, shout out to Big Country in the chat. What's going on, man? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. So You know, I've been seeing these clowns. You know, let, let me let me address let me address uh let me address a few clowns, ladies and gentlemen. I've been seeing these clowns, man. Um you know, pretending, you know, you know what I realized, ladies and gentlemen? These dudes are cosplaying. <laughs> these dudes are cosplaying, chat. Like they're cosplaying um, you know, they're 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 they're, they're not really who they claim they are, right? Listen, Charlene, let me let me speak to you directly. Um, you know, I, I seen some video this dude posted, I think yesterday or two days ago, and he's talking about, oh, uh, these creators, all they're doing is bl blaming Darvin Ham. Yeah, listen, bro, we understand you don't, you've never played basketball, right? I mean, these are your own words, right? Like I said, you're cosplaying out here, as if you know, like, you know the stuff you be talking about we we know you don't know anything about the sport man so let me educate you real quick charlene there's more facets to the game right there, there's more things going on with the lakers than just lebron james we know that's that's all you dudes well, chat what i tell you guys these dudes turn on laker games and all they do is just look at lebron that's it they don't they don't they don't they don't analyze any other player they couldn't tell you uh, uh, any other players besides LeBron and AD, they don't know how to analyze the game. They don't know what they're watching. All they do is they turn on the game. And they 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 they're just looking at LeBron. And and based on you know whatever LeBron does, they make their assessments based off of that. They they turn on first take. They turn on uh, uh Skip Bayless. They hear what they're saying, and then that's when we have guys like Charlene. He just uses their content and then makes his content off of that. We know you know nothing about the sport, man. There's more facets to a team than just one or two players, right? But I digress, ladies and gentlemen. I digress, okay? We got to get to, like, you know, the actual report. Um, so, a report came out today, um, and this was not surprising to me at all. Um... Let me actually get this on the screen, man. Let me actually get this on the screen. So it says, Lakers players wanted coach Darvin Scam fired earlier this season. Okay. Now check the date. April 11th. This just came out today. He's talking about you right now. The locker room. 
He said all the players are trash. I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew. What you gonna do when Big Papa come for you? <laughs> we got Paul. He said Charlene built like a D-plus Duracell battery. That's crazy. A D-plus Duracell battery is crazy. Um, So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, you guys see the report that just came out today, okay? Lakers players wanted head coach Darvin Scam fired earlier this season. Now, what people always come into the chat and tell me is they tell me that LeBron runs this team, right? They blame LeBron for the rush trade. They blame LeBron for pretty much everything that goes on surrounding this team. So then I have to pose the question, okay, well, if LeBron's actually the one running this team, then what is Rob Palenka doing? And why does he have a job? This is my question. I never can get a concrete answer to that question, right? Everybody always says LeBron runs the team. And then I say, okay, so what is Rob Palenka here to do then? Nobody ever has a, a, a answer for that, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, if LeBron James is the one that truly runs this team, um, I believe Darvin Scam would have been fired by now. I mean, we've seen LeBron James disrespecting Darvin Scam, overriding his play calling, um, not really paying attention to anything he says in the timeouts, in the huddles, right? This is what you would call a coach losing the locker room, okay? So once again, if LeBron James, like you guys claim, if he really is the one running the franchise, then why is Darvin Ham still here then? I'm sure LeBron would have fired Le Darvin Scam at this point. Because this is this is over LeBron's head. This is over LeBron, right? So let's get back into this article, man. Unbelievable, man. Like I said, the truth is the truth is all starting to come out, ladies and gentlemen. It's all starting to come out now. Stuff that we've been saying. Now these dudes want to steal our talking points. And they want to jump on the fire Darvin scam train. Man, stop it, man. Now I, now every game I get on Twitter, everybody's talking about fire Darvin scam. Man, stop it. Where were y'all at in, in, in October of 2022 when I was the only one? When I was the only one. We were, what, 10 games, 15 games into the season in 2022? And I, I got to, I, man, listen. I've been on this fire Darvin scam wave. Now everybody, now, now everybody's starting to see what we've been saying here at the locker room. That's crazy. I mean, do I gotta go there? <laughs> do I gotta go there? Do I gotta do I gotta pull up the video? Do I gotta go there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Just 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 for clarity, just for context. Just for context, just to show everybody how consistent we've been on this on this particular topic. There's been nobody on the internet that's been more consistent on this particular topic than us here at the locker room. Let, let, let's start there. I mean, let me let me go ahead and pull this up, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, let me guys, let me let me get this on the screen. Just for context, because like I said, I don't remember Trevor Lane at Lakers. I don't remember none of you dudes. Chat. This is last season, beginning of last season. Look at the videos, chat. Remember when Patrick Beverly got ejected for uh, defending Austin Reeves against the Phoenix Suns? Remember he got suspended three games, chat? This was the beginning of last season. Yeah. I didn't want to guard anyone else but Austin Reeves last night. How dare you come in Chicago in my hood and hit me with the too little and don't think that I'm going to come for your neck? It's cool. He going to feel rad. <laughs> From now on, I'm picking his ass up 94 feet. And it's not personal, it's just business. business. They didn't really seem that chippy. No, uh -uh. it was the bump after. The bump was crucial. Yeah, the bump was it was needed. And you stood there like a yeah. brick wall yeah. in front good, of the train. Good bump, too. I put my hand up. I got a little elbow to the head as he walked through like this. Like, come you on, clipped bro, him? Man. Yeah, clipped him. I clipped him. Good call. I clipped him. I clipped him. Every time I seen the Lakers until I retire, whatever team Austin Reeves is on, I'm on, I'm on his ass. Because of this? Because of that. You had nothing but glowing things to say about him and you defended him personally yeah. when it was against the Suns. That's what that's what made me angry about it because I did time for him. You were in that box. I literally did time for him. You paid money out of pocket. Pocket for him. Hit me with this. <laughs> be your own people, say less. 
ladies and gentlemen, this was the beginning of last season when we were discussing these things. Like I said, we got a dude in the chat right now. The Crasher, he said four chips in 21 years and you handpicked majority of your teams. It's on him. What I tell you guys, chat, he's a LeBron, he's a, he's a semen eater. He's a nut guzzler. That, what, I, what, I, what did I just tell you guys when we started the show? All these dudes do is turn on TV and all they do is look at LeBron James. That's it. Bro, you're a grown ass man. Look at look at the content we were making last year, Chad. This is this is actually a good video. Three Lakers players that should be benched for good. We're not just we're not just nut hugging LeBron and AD every 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 day every video. <laughs> That's actually a very good video. Three Lakers players that should be benched for good. And look at well, look who we put in the thumbnail: Juan Toscano Anderson and sorry ass Kendrick Nunn. That's actually a good topic. So like I said, let me scroll up to, uh, to to the video. Now, if you guys remember, just for context and clarity, Ime Udoka was fired from the Celtics for clapping cheeks, right? Absolutely ridiculous. That goes on every day in corporate America. I don't know why we fire Ime Udoka, but like I said, that's, that's a different topic for a different day. Kyrie Irving then posts a link to a movie that offended the Jewish community. They fire Steve Nash a little bit before that, actually. They fire Steve Nash, right? And then Kyrie Irving posts the link to that movie. So now the Brooklyn Nets are without a coach. Now they're talking about bringing in Ime Udoka. A report came out that said, nah, they're not going to do it. They don't want to bring in all this. It's too much drama, right? So Ime, Ime didn't go to Brooklyn. Remember, he coached under um, Steve Nash in 2021 in Brooklyn. So there was already like a connection there. So, but once Kyrie posted that movie, the Brooklyn Nets said, nah, this is too much drama. We're not going to bring in Ime and add more drama to what's already going on in Brooklyn at that time. So Ivan fired up the show, right? We did a video on it, an eight minute video. And I said, yo, the Lakers need to go get Ime Udoka. Fire this clown Darvin scam and go get Ime Udoka. This was the beginning of last season. This was the beginning of last season, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, hold on, hold on, let me show you. Let me actually click on the videos so we can get the specific date. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the spe- this is the actual date of this video. November 23rd, 2022. What what none of you were none of you zero. None of y'all were on this wave. There's nobody on Twitter. There n- none of y'all We started this. We've been seeing what was going on. This started in the preseason last year. We lost our final preseason game by 47 points. How does that even happen? How does that happen? Then we start the season 0-5. First 10 games were 2-8. I was done. I've been done. So now we got fat ass Charlene talking about all they want to do is blame the coach. Listen, lard back, double chin. Listen, stay over there in Nigeria, man. All right, you you just keep covering them bum ass Clippers. Y'all be, y'all gonna be going home in that first round too. You fat bastard. Now you want to cosplay as Skip Bayless. Man, knock it off, man. You're, you're, you're a good actor, though, Charlene. I'll give it to you. You're, you're a good actor. I'll give it to you, man. You're, you're good at this. You're, you're very good at role-playing. You're role-playing as a, as a sports commentator, man. Knock it off, man. Knock it off, dude. Like, like we just started. Nigga, we, we started the Fire Darvin scam train 12, 10 games into the season last season. This ain't a new take. This is not a new take. We've been we've been talking about this for two years. So let's get back into this article, man. (laughs) 
So this article says, you niggas are stupid, man. This article says the Lakers have dealt with spurts of disappointing play at various times this season. They started the year three and five, and although they won 11 of their next 15 games, they then went through a horrible slump for much of December and into early January. By mid-January, LA was just 19 and 21, which was a far cry from the expectations many had for it when the season started. Remember, chat, they told us that we had won the offseason. That's what they said. Like I said, all the media pundits, Zach Lowe, Brian Windhorse, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, everybody said we won the offseason. It was all a lie. As a result, head coach Darvin Scam was made into the scapegoat by fans, many of whom were attacking him on social media and practically begging for him to be fired. It looks like fans weren't the only ones who wanted Darvin Scam gone. According to a report, players on the team also wanted him to be shown the door. Not the locker room, not fans on Twitter, on social media, not 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 lard backs cosplaying in Nigeria as sports commentators. No, players on the team. Like I said, forget what I'm saying. Now, what do you have to say? Players on the team wanted Darvin Scam gone. Okay. Quote, a source told Hoops Wire. Oh, and, and by the way, chat, we already know what they're going to say, right? This report is fake. We, we, we get it. We understand you guys' playbook. We know you guys' playbook from front to back. We already know what you guys are going to come in here and say. Go ahead and just save yourself some time. Don't even type it in the chat. We get it. The report is fake. Okay, let's move on. Quote, a source told Hoops Wire that Lakers players wanted assistant coach Phil Handy to replace Ham earlier in the season. However, L.A. owner Jeannie Buss is a fan of Darvin Scam, and she has never thought about firing him as the coach. Okay, so once again, y'all keep telling me LeBron is running this organization. But apparently what we're finding out is, is that Jeannie Buss has final say-so. See, this is why Magic Johnson was critical for this ball club, because Magic was the president of basketball operations. And Jeannie gave Magic full control. The reason why Magic Johnson stepped down is because Magic felt like he didn't have full control. They wanted to fire Luke Walton. Remember in 2018, Luke Walton was our head coach. Magic wanted Luke Walton gone. Magic didn't hire Luke Walton. He inherited Luke Walton. He wanted Luke Walton gone. But obviously, Jeannie Buss being the, the softy that she is, she had a relationship like she does with all these players and coaches. And, and she didn't want to see Luke get fired. So Magic said, okay, you, you, you told me I was going to have full control, but now you're really trying to go over my head and, and, and override decisions that I feel like would make us a better basketball team. So so now we're starting to realize, chat, Jeannie Buss is, Jeannie Buss is the one. See, I, I, I said it last night. I'm thinking Jeannie Buss is the owner. She's just sitting, you know, and, and letting Rob and, and Magic do everything. Nah, what we're finding out, ladies and gentlemen, Jeannie Buss got her hand in a lot of these, these decisions that's going on. Yeah. Yes, Jeannie Buss. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this actually makes perfect sense as to why this article. See, I told you guys, everything's going to come out. Now, like I said, LeBron James, at the beginning of this season, remember when he went up to Phil Handy, right? He went up to Phil Handy. He didn't go up to Darvin Scam. Oh, now, now it's all starting to make sense now. 
Don't you think, right, if LeBron and Darwin had a good relationship, he would just go to Darwin because he's the coach, right? Hey, Darwin, uh, y'all know I can play point. No, he don't even rock with Darwin like that. He went up to Phil Handy and told Phil Handy. Now it's all starting to make sense, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Rui in there or Austin and TP at the two and three. I'm just out there just floating around. Y'all do know I can play point guard too, right? Okay. We got a lot of length. I can play the point. Well, Rui in there or Austin and TP at the two and three. I'm just out there just floating around. Now it's all starting to come out, chat. <laughs> now it's all starting to come out. This is why Magic got out. This is why, man. Magic said, Rob Palenka, y'all keep t telling me. Man, I told y'all, Rob Palenka's trash. Magic said Rob Palenka was, was talking behind his back. Thought y'all was, Magic thought, that, thought they was boys. Magic got wind, this dude was talking trash behind his back. Showing up to the Lakers facility asking, yo, where's Magic? Where's Magic? Trying to be funny. Genie Bus stepping on Magic toes, not letting him make decisions. Magic said, man, I'm out, man. He said, I'm out, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Let, yeah, let's get Magic on the show. Let's get Magic on the show. Yeah, this video was from four years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Magic on the show. Magic Johnson says Rob Palenka was backstabbing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's get into this. Let's Lakers. Well, it was a couple couple reasons. You know, um, first of all, uh, let me thank Jeannie Buss for the opportunity first. Uh, when we sat down and negotiated, I told her, I said, listen, I can't give up all my businesses. I make more money doing that than becoming the president of the Lakers. So you know that I'm going to be in and out. Is that okay with you? She said, yes. I said, do I have the power to make decisions? Because that was important uh, for me to take the job as well. She said, you have the power to make the decisions. So um, I said, okay, let's go do it. She said, I'm going to put you with Rob Palenka, because I didn't know Rob. So she put us both together. Um, first year in, it was tremendous. I wanted the, the strategy to be, let's get up under the salary cap, because we were way over the salary cap. And um, I said, let's trade some people, get some draft picks, so on and on. D'Angelo, you know, uh, great guard, but had a problem when uh, uh, Shaggy P and yeah. the whole Nick, the whole thing went down. So I knew I had to get him out. We made some moves. That draft pick turned into Kyle Kuzma. So we felt good about making that deal. Drafted Lonzo Ball number two. I know you're still against it, but yes. we, we can de debate that yes, because I think he's outstanding uh, all around point guard. Um, then uh, Josh Hart. So things got going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And then I start hearing, you know, Magic, you're not working hard enough. Magic's not in the office. So people around the Laker office was telling me Rob was saying things. and Rob uh, Palenka. Rob Palenka. And I didn't like those things being said behind my back that I wasn't in the office enough and so on and on. Uh, Let's stop it right there. I told y'all this. I'm I'm done. Stop making excuses for this trash uh 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 GM Rob Palenka. He's trash. I told y'all this. Tell the truth about this man. He's trash. Um so I started getting calls from my friends outside of basketball saying those things now were said to them 
outside of basketball. Now, not just in the Laker office anymore. Yeah. Now it's in the media and so on. And these are people you trust. Exactly. And people got to remember something. Being in this business for over 40 years, I got allies, I got friends everywhere, right? And so, and then I had to monitor the brothers because Joey and Jesse wanted more involvement, wanted more power. The bus brothers. The bus brothers. Right. And so I said, I didn't mind doing that because they're good guys, but also I sat them down and said, hey, listen, I'm going to really help you guys mature and get better. And uh, so I took that role as well because they felt they should have been, you know, in powerful positions, whether that's the general manager or the president, right? And so um, then when those things start happening too much, Stephen A., the straw that broke the camel's back was I wanted to fire Luke Walton. And we had max three meetings. Um, I showed her the things he did well and the things he didn't do well. And I said, listen, we got to get a better coach. I like him. He's great. Former Laker, the whole thing. So the first day, well, let's think about it. Second day, okay, you can fire him. Then the next day, no, we should try to work it out. So when we went back and forth like that, and then she brought Tim Harrison to the meeting, you know, some of the guys. And Tim, you know, wanted me, he wanted to keep him because he was friends with Luke. And Luke's a great guy, mm -hmm. great guy. He is. And so when I looked up and said, wait a minute, I only really answer to Jeannie Buss. Now I got Tim involved. And I said, it's time for me to go. I got things happening that was being said behind my back. I don't have the power that I thought I had to make the decisions. And I told them, when it's not fun for me, when I think that I don't have the decision-making power that I thought I had, then I got to step aside. Let me go back to the backstabbing comment, because you said that mm -hmm. when you resigned abruptly inside the Staples Center. And you just educated us that friends you trust that got to them outside of basketball. Right. So did it come down? I'm not, I understand the Luke Walton element. Yeah. But when you allude to the backstabbing, was it Rob Palenka that you're talking about? Is it Rob Palenka and other people within the Lakers organization? Who exactly were you talking no, about? No, just Rob. I think that other people didn't bother me. It's, it's really funny as I sit here. I don't worry about those type of things. I'm not a guy who is like, oh, man, he said this about me, and I worry about it. What happened was I wasn't having fun coming to work anymore, mm -hmm. especially when I got to work beside you, knowing that you want my position. And I'm okay with that because this is what happened, Stephen A. I told him in year two, I'm only going to be here three years. So my job is, Rob, to get you ready for this position. So, you know, I was going to help elevate him. Mm -hmm. to, the, to the president's position. And so when all this was coming back to me and guys calling me saying, you better watch out for him. And then what was crazy was before, when I took the job, you know how many agents called me and said, mm -hmm. you got to watch out for him. And I said, eh, I got to give the guy a fair chance. You know, I can't listen to, mm -hmm. to people. And so, uh, but he, he was a hard worker, smart guy. But uh, now you have that position. So I'm good with that. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Magic Johnson after he stepped down from the Lakers. This is what's going on. This is bigger than LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, and Anthony Davis. This is bigger than them. They want dark. Th Chat. Th we just read through the article. Jeannie don't want to fire Darvin. That's why he's still here. We got Charles Brown. He said Jeannie is so incompetent. The whole, the whole front office is a mess. It's all a mess. We, we just heard what Magic Johnson said. He wanted to have full control you brought me in to be 
the president of basketball operations. Magic said he got there and Jenny talking about, we're going to pair you up with, with Rob Palenka. Magic said he was getting calls around the league. People's calling him like, yo, you, you, you better watch out for that dude. He's a snake. Magic said, nah, I'm, I'm going to give this guy a fair shake. I'm going to give him a fair shake. He backstabbed Magic. And y'all want to sit up here and still make excuses for this clown. And, and like I said, I've, I've been sparing Jeannie Buss. Jeannie Buss is a part of this too. She's in the way. She need to fall back. You're the owner. You need to go ahead and just fall back. Now, Jeannie don't want to fire Darvin Scam because she like him. Man, this is this is why we're in the position that we're in. This is why they gave Austin Reese $55 because they like him. This is business. People's feelings are going to get hurt. People are going to get fired. Guys are going to get traded and cut and waived. Our owners sitting here making relationship. Man, you got, we got to keep this stuff business. You can't be sitting here texting Kuzma, texting uh, uh, Luke Walton, going out to dinner with these guys. We got to keep this stuff business. Because guess what? When it's time to make the tough decisions, you're not going to be able to make those tough decisions because of your personal relationships. LeBron, LeBron, don't move, Le, LeBron don't move like this, chat. LeBron don't move like this. LeBron got his friends. D Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, listen, before Dwayne Wade went gay, that was LeBron's boy. But guess what? LeBron got to put his family first. He got to put himself first. Anybody think about no, no, no damn Dwayne Wade? So he said, you know what? Nah, this nigga's getting old. This is my boy and everything. But nah, man, we out, man. You, 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 your knees ain't holding up. I got to make a business decision, man. Boys or not. Kyrie, cool. But if we can make an upgrade, if we can get Paul George or whatever, Kyrie might have to get traded. It is what it is. It's business at the end of the day. Niggas didn't grow up with you niggas. So now it's all starting to make sense, chat. Genie Bus and upper management, they're incompetent. Now it's all starting to make sense. Now it's all starting to make sense, man. Now it's all starting to make sense. I get it now. That's what's really going on. I get it now. Genie Bus wants to, you know, be involved in decision making process, and you don't you don't know nothing about basketball. Respectfully, you, you yes, you own the Lakers. God bless you. More power to you, but. What does Jeannie Buss know about the X's and O's and, and building teams and all that? W what does she know? You weren't pl you didn't play basketball growing up. You were posing for Playboy. Your 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 pussy's all over Reddit. What do you know about the game? What, why are you getting in the way of Magic when he wants to fire Luke Walton? Why are you getting in the way of, of Darwin's scam getting fired? What do you know? I seen this, I seen her at the game. I, I seen one clip chat. She's on Twitter. She 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 making her rounds at the at the arena, hugging NLE Choppa. Hugging rappers all over LeBron. Her and her and Linda Rambis all all touching over LeBron. What do y'all know about the game? We got Charles that she really has no business running this organization. Trey said, Jeannie, the Jerry Jones of the NBA. And why won't first take undisputed talk about it? Because I agree, Trey. Why won't they talk about it, though? <laughs> BMW said all in the videos. Why won't they talk about it, ladies and gentlemen? Like I said, all these, all these cosplayers do. 
is sit and eat cock every day. Sit and only talk about LeBron every single... Bro, this is a 15-man roster. All they do, turn the game on, and they locked in with LeBron. They, they, they Listen, chat, when LeBron goes to the bench, they change the channel. If LeBron ain't out there, they're not even going to watch the game. Let LeBron sit out. They ain't watching the game. All they care about is LeBron. Bro, these issues are bigger than LeBron. LeBron is just a player. This is what he's dealing with. We have incompetence, ladies and gentlemen, at the top of this organization. These people are lost, man. They don't, like I said, magic was the best thing. After the Lakers won their championship in 2010, the best thing after that to happen to the Lakers was when Magic Johnson became the president of basketball operations. That was the best thing that had happened to the Lakers organization since they won that title in 2010, was Magic becoming the president. Because now you have a basketball mind. You have somebody in the, in the building, in the room, that has played at the highest level, that understands what is required to win and bring this organization back to prominence. Rob Palenka is Kobe's agent. That's it. You got the job because you were Kobe's agent. Nepotism. You, you, you guys think they're going to let Rich Paul be the GM? <laughs> you got, re, really ask yours, really think about it. You think they're going to let Rich Paul or, or some other agent just come be the GM of the Lakers? No, man. You got the job because you're Kobe's guy. Kobe put in a good word for you. God bless you. But it's clear. You don't know what you're doing and you're a snake. Keep trying to tell y'all, man, what moves has what what moves has this man made that's been good? Magic traded away. You guys just we just played the audio. Magic traded away D'Angelo Russell. He got rid of D'Angelo Russell. This clown brings him back. You guys, we just played the audio. Magic said because of the situation with Swaggy P. I had to get him up out of there. You bring the snitch back. And we in and, 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 and when we in the ninth seed with this snitch. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm back on the snitch allegations, chat. I'm back on that. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to I tried to put it to the side and 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 and, and forget about it. Nah, man, this he's a snitch. I don't think it's a coincidence that ever since he left Minnesota, they're blossoming right now. I don't think this is a coincidence. You get the snitch out of the building, and guess what? Your organization is going to flourish. Niggas want to sit up here and talk about how consistent this cl- Man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're screwed, man. We're screwed. And, 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 and like I said, I don't, I'm, I don't want to... Like I said, if they still blaming LeBron and AD, they're clowns, man. I don't want to hear. Like I said, I don't want to hear about no damn LeBron and AD, man. They're the, they're they're the only thing keeping this organization from being the worst team in the Western Conference. It, it's LeBron and AD. That's the only thing. Management sucks. Ownership is trash. Roster construction sucks. The coach is trash. The only bright spot about this team is LeBron and AD. That's it. So if they come over here blaming LeBron and AD, they're a clown. They're a clown, straight up. Now we see. Now, now it all makes sense, chat. Why, why we, why we got rid of Lonnie for Austin Reeves to re-sign Austin Reeves. Now it all makes sense. It, why you think Malik Beasley didn't want to come back? Because he knew if, if, if I come back to Darvin's scam and I play under Darvin's scam, my value is going to be so low. This is why Malik Beasley left. At least he's playing in, in Milwaukee. If, if Malik Beasley would have re-signed with the Lakers, 
Darvin Skin will have him buried on the bench. Like he did last year. Malik Beasley said, I got to get up out of here, man. I got to get up out of here. Unreal, man. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, chat. This this organization's done. We have a we have an owner that knows nothing about the sport getting in the way of like basketball decisions and, and, and choices. I don't hear about Steve Ballmer doing this. Steve Ballmer's just a fan. He he's just sitting on, you know, the sideline rooting for his team. All right, man. We got action, man. Yo, King J, get in here, man. <laughs> Reds, what's good, man? What's going on, man? Man, just, whoo, man, you've been on fire, man. Past couple takes, man, you've been on fire. And I, and I understand because it's a lot It's a lot of crazy shit that don't even make sense, man, with the Lakers, man. And, you know, we, we see it, and it's like you, you, you keep trying to, you debating back and forth and back and forth like all day. Like, wait a minute. Hold on. It's all, I'm sitting there debating with you for hours and hours, and we we, we in tenth. I mean, what you expect? We it took us one year, one year. I think it was last year. It took us seventy some games to to get to five hundred. What do y'all? What do people expect, man? I mean, I, ain't nothing good going on right now with the organization. Like seriously, like like you just said, and I understand, and you ain't you ain't lying about that. Like with the coach and just with uh, you know uh, robbing them talking about some you know when rob got that, that extra four-year extension after that trash ass uh rafi put together remember <laughs> yep <laughs> that's exactly. right that, that rock all them old niggas remember yeah all, all, listen it's like eight of the, eight of eight of those players are no longer in the league what the right i mean what the, uh, it, it's just man then you look at it right now you know, with, with Lonnie and all them, with, the reason, and then the reason why we keep bringing all this stuff up because it don't make sense how Darvin Ham and I'm surprised. I don't even know how Rob and Jenny just sitting back and just looking at this all this that's going on, and they comfortable with it. Like, how you as a GM, you look at Mavericks, man. You look at um the Celtics. You look at all these other teams. They got they got dogs. Jalen Brunson is a dog. Donovan Mitchell is a dog, man. Halliburton is a dog. Who we got? Come on, man. I mean, it it don't make sense, man. Right, and and, and I'm gonna tell okay. you, I'm a, King J. I'm gonna tell you why they're okay with it. Mm -hmm. The reason, the reason why they're okay with everything that's going on is because they're still, they're still, they're they're laughing to the bank with LeBron and AD on the team. Oh right, 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 right. That that, that does make sense. They making they that, make that they, they, they making hella money with LeBron and AD on the team. So so, so that, King, that hey, is this is why this is why I said on, on on yesterday's show. This is why I said we did a show talking about did LeBron and AD quit on the team. I can understand from their perspective why they would quit because, like I said, they're the ones. It's it's the ownership that's getting rich off the backs of LeBron and AD trying to keep this team in the playoffs. And like I said, even though we didn't make the playoffs last year. You know how much money they made, the Lakers made, just by the Lakers getting to the Western Conference Finals? I wonder how much. They made a lot of I money, really bro. Right. Like, <laughs> like, like, like just, just making the playoffs, that's that's like extra extra millions, hundreds of millions, however much for, for the organization, just by you making the playoffs. Right. It, it, yeah, so I'm like, man, it's, it's, it, it's just... I, I hate and I hate to see this, man. I hate to see the stuff that's going on because, you know, it ain't it ain't that we got to worry about Darvin Ham Reds. We got people, you know, what I'm saying that's coming in the chat. You got to go toe toe to toe with these clowns. It's like wow, it, it's too much pressure everywhere, and it's all because of this damn this organization not putting the people, not putting it, getting the right piece. Like you said, the Mavericks wants to go get Daniel Gafford. They wants to go get PJ Washington. Right. Celtics went to go get Drew Holiday. Poor Zingas. Come on, man. I mean, uh, the Pacers went to go get uh, Pascal Siakam. Exactly. I mean, and, and guess what, Red? Phoenix, a lot of people KD, don't even KD see it. And, and Bradley Beal. Oh, oh, exactly. And then another thing, 
another thing is too, um, the other coaches they went to go got the they went to get the players, and guess what? They put them in a star lineup. We Darvin Ham, we 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 went to go get those players, and we kept them on the bench and kept then it shooting all. Remember, he kept all of them in the star lineup and put right. and, and uh, as soon as we got uh. Beasley and all of them, he he kept them on the bench, but kept um Dennis Trudy and Pat all of them in the starting lineup. I'm like, right. wait a minute, why are you going to get? It, it, it just it, it, it hurts your head, man. It pisses you off. It hurts your head. It, it, it's it's horrible. You got people that debate with you six hours, Lamont debating with you six hours over some damn PJ Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> glad you ain't i'm glad it's not even coming back because it's just when you hear it man you be on the on the on, you you all you almost do a four or five hour show with him just talk, going back and forth man about all day debating all damn day man like come on we trash man austin reads is <laughs> he, they trash d, d low i mean come on look at it they not dogs man uh, those, those are poodles in the backcourt like for real man lebron got poodles in the backcourt he, he had a dog in Kyrie. What Kyrie doing? Them boys over there balling, man. Come on. King J. King J. We, yeah. we, got, we got Lamont. Hold on. Let me let, let, me, let, let, me let Lamont get in here. Lamont, what's going on, man? <laughs> what up, man? Yeah, it's crazy. What, what do you got, hey, Lamont? It's crazy. Hey, man, ain't no. <laughs> Look. Hey, man. This is called. You know, all these other teams can 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 make these moves because they don't go on these trade, 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 trade tirades every single year. You you let your assets develop and you, you kind of build out a core and when it's time to make a move, you make a move. You you know, and the Lakers over the last couple of years have been on this trade, trade, trade tangent. And they've depleted themselves. What, and so when with? these what young players like the, the Gaffords and all these players come available, there's nothing left. What, what does that have to do with the topic, though? So they're never in the mix to get any of these guys. What you say? What does that have to do with the topic? I'm just I'm just going off of what y'all was just talking about a second ago. Okay. But so I'm just I'm just going the, off the of it. It's just like like you can't is, like this is the bed y'all made. Okay, but the topic is about this is something that the topic is about Darwin. Scam. Hold on, say it again, right? The topic is about Darwin scam, right? And how Genie Bus doesn't mm -hmm. want to fire Darwin scam. And we we played the audio. I don't know when you came in, but we we played yeah, the audio. Yeah, probably a bad move. We played the audio of Magic Johnson, right? Detailing why he stepped down, and he was basically saying that the reason why he stepped down was because he thought he had full control of the team, but really and truly it was Genie Buss that's really trying to step on his toes and kind of get in his way. He said he wanted to fire Luke Walton. They had three meetings about it, and Genie Buss one day said, okay, it's fine to fire him. The next day, oh, maybe we should work it out. Then you got Rob Palenka, Magic said, stabbing him behind the back, talking behind his back. So, yeah, Magic Johnson had to step down. So what we're what we've learned, Lamont, is that we have an owner who I thought, because I originally thought Jeannie Buss wasn't, didn't really have her hand in, in a lot of the stuff yeah. that was going on. I thought main, mainly it was Rob. Because, you know, ownership usually doesn't, like, meddle in the, 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 the business of, you know, the things that go on. They kind of just play the background. And they let the president or the GM, and they do all the work. That's what I thought was going on. But now we're finding out that it's actually Jeannie who's, Stepping in and overriding some of these decisions that you know people want, which is what we're talking about right now. Which is the players want Darvin fired, and Genie Bus stepped in and said, "No, I like Darvin. We're keeping Darvin." Don't you think that's problematic? Hey, but but Maria, me and you both know. I mean, no, but Rich, me and you both know because we saw this long before with Dan Gilbert and LeBron in Cleveland. Owners dictate if you win a championship or not. So 
if the owner ain't really trying to capitulate to winning moves, you ain't never going to win nothing. Yeah, let me let uh, MJ. Um, let me let MJ get in here, man. I don't know what's going on, man. They didn't crash the stream, man. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm trying to let MJ get in here, man. Hold on. What did the player say about Darvin Ham? I missed that. The player said that um, they wanted Darvin Ham gone for Phil Handy earlier this season. They, the, 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 some players came out and said they wanted Darvin Ham gone. They wanted um. They wanted Phil Handy to become the head coach, and Jeannie Buss stepped in and said, "Nah, we're we're not getting rid of uh, Darvin Scam." Why do you think they want to hold on to Darvin so much? Um, I think because. They don't want. They don't want to look stupid. Um, okay, MJ goes. I, I think they don't want to look stupid, um, because obviously they fired Frank Vogel, who won a championship. So they're trying to basically save face. I think. Um, yo, MJ, what do you got, man? Yeah, man. What happened is you make sense. Like a lot of clowns, that be you know, be like clowns. They don't know basketball. One thing, Darwin can't coach. Me and you last year, like you said, we started two and ten. I said this guy's a goofball. Only reason he made it to, and then when we we got lucky, he got luck when they made the trade, and he knew he should have played that big guy Tristan with a made what you call workforce points. Anthony Davis would have been healthy, would have killed, what's the call, the guy that kept getting the rebounds on us that came from Orlando when they missed the shot. We would have killed them. They would have got them extra rebounds. His clutch threes would have probably beat them. Everybody, man, I'm like you say, man, people be coming on your show. They be thinking they know basketball. And it's common sense. If you play Big, we win big. You could tell when we be beating people. It's hard for them to get in the paint, and it's hard for them to make their shot. But no, all these clowns be coming on your show thinking they know basketball. They don't know a goddamn thing. They goofy, man. I call them goofy. And I'm sick of them coming on your show acting like, well, you know, man, small ball is killing the Lakers. And look. Me and you said, you could have bring Austin Reeves off the bench. He going to give you good minutes. Go on and play pretty boy. Let him go on and play his But you put somebody like the young kid. If you didn't play that young kid all year at the two guard, the young kid probably would have been average, like, would have been playing like the guy from, uh, what's the kid that, that you used to have? He played for New York. He's 6'6". Six, six. That Josh came Hart. from uh, Josh Hart. What the, yes, that's what you do. You balance your team out. You could have start the young other guy, the big guy that can shoot threes. That's what you got him for. The center, 6'9", 6'10", Woods. And you could have started him or like Rui. Either way, you would have had firepower. Man, this guy, it killed his team. When we started off 3-5, and five, I said, here we go again. Then we 19-21. and 21, we still pitiful because he cannot coach. I'm tired of this guy. The whole L.A. wants this clown out of here. And if anybody come on your show, you should cut them off your show, bro. We don't want to hear no more clowns on your show. Get them out of here. Ass kissers. 
We tired of the ass kissers. They think they know basketball and they don't know basketball. And it's common sense. <clears throat> like I said, the Utah don't have no talent. They just got players. The only guy they got is the 6'10 guy, seven foot that can shoot threes. But the guy played big. He played him at small. He played him at power forward. Then he got the guy from Atlanta playing, you know, and then the center. They got big seven footer. That's how the Lakers should be playing. Just think if that guy was coaching the Lakers. The clowns that be coming, oh, by Utah, look at their run. No dummies. It's not the Lakers. We got LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And for you clowns that keep coming over here trying to talk about LeBron James, let me tell you again, I'm Kobe Bryant. That's my boy. If Kobe loves LeBron, I love LeBron. He's on the Lakers. We would not win a championship if it was from LeBron. You people are clowns. And they come, he's 39 years old. This dude lose two games back to back. Don't know what to line up. He let these guys go in a 15 0 run on us. Then he called a timeout. The guy gets, the game is, what? We up by, they up by four. The guy blocked his shot. He looking, oh, should I make the call? Oh, and it was too late. This guy don't have a clue. And Jeannie Buzz, this lady is pissing me off. I'm tired of Jeannie Buzz. Jeannie, the, the board should come in there. If y'all don't win, Jeannie, you should lose your power. That's what they do. You got to go, Jeannie, because you're kissing ass. you worried about trying to oh, save face. No, forget saving face. If Milwaukee can fire their coach when they was 33 and 13, you can't fire this clown that we might be in a 10 seed. We let sorry small ball go to state beaters. Sorry ass Sacramento beaters. <laughs> this is pitiful. Man, I'm pissed off. Nah, the whole it's, Laker it's, Nation it's, is pissed. I, I, I I'm pissed. Lie. I ain't gonna lie, Lamont. You, you you be calling MJ a drunk man, but MJ be MJ be spitting that real shit, man. You, you tripping? MJ be speaking the real, man. Let me let King J get back in here. My bad, King J. King J, my bad, man. <laughs> Look, good, man. I mean, but just, all I'm saying is, like, he made a good point about the man. Utah Jazz. We can let's say he made a good point about the Utah Jazz, and and so with the, here's the difference with the Utah Jazz. Markham is an all-star. John Collins was a starter in Atlanta. Walker Kessler was is a rising star in this league. Their three bigs are really good. So it's easy to play guys that are really good, that are, like, super talented. The problem is, outside of Anthony Davis, I don't know if I can sit there and say, and, and, it, and really, they're a lot, I call them tweeners. Outside of Jackson Hayes, Rui is a tweener. He's a 6'8 that's forced to play bigger than what he is. And Christian Woods is 6'8 forced to play bigger than what he is. So these are tweeners that are forced to that are really small forward power forwards. And they're getting thrown into the power forward or center role because the Lakers really don't have size. So there's just more guys that you're playing out of position. Even ADs playing out of position. So because of the financial situation that they're in, they can't go get true centers like Lord. Markman, like Walker Kessler, like a John Collins, like a Clint Capella, no. and they have to go get these tweener guys that Lamont. are undersized, to, and you, try, you to have to y'all. try to mold Lamont. them into... Lamont. Lamont. I hate to cut y'all, bro. That's an excuse. We as a Laker fan, you you come out here making an excuse, Lamont. We don't want to hear that bull job, bro. We should have been and played Woods. No, if we played the right lineup, you wouldn't have no problem. Look, 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 about look, it. look, you should have so, brought... Two players the Lakers should have brought back for the defense. They should have brought big, big, uh, the White House back, and they should have brought Stanley I Johnson agree. back just for defense. They got a but, lot but of scoring. We don't need scoring. I, you need defense win championships. I, I, hold on, but, but, but hold on. But I've been saying this a lot. I've been saying they need to go get dogs, bruisers, guys with a mentality of defending and rebounding. I've been saying this, uh, MJ. Yeah. Me and you both agree. It's just the problem. But the problem is, is that the guys who are. No, it's just the problem is, is that the guys that are bruisers, defenders and rebounders, they struggle with scoring. And when those same guys go out there and they can't give you 15 points. That's why we're losing. I know. But hold on. But but the thing is, there's guys out there that they can go after, but you guys don't really want them. 
No, they out there. Y'all don't they really want them on the team. Yeah, but y'all don't want Man, them because that, th there are guys out there like that. And if y'all have them on this team. We want pretty boy. Lamont, 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 that Stanley Lamont. Johnson and Dwight Howard. I don't know if y'all really want the bruisers. Lamont. Man, we want, we, we want we That's an excuse. Hold on, MJ. We, we came into this season and we had three bigs. Woods, Hayes, and, and, and AD. Like MJ Woods is 6'8". He's not a true big. Was it six ten, six eleven, man? Was it not six eight? No, go. Well, he's six eight. You need to look no, it up. He, he's six. He's six ten, six eleven, man. If you want to count his hair when his hair is out, yeah, but he's six eight. He's an undersized big. Okay, whatever you want to say, but like I said, you got three bigs, right? Like MJ is saying, Utah, they play big. Earlier in the season, one of our best, uh, one of our best lineups included Wood, AD, and LeBron. That that had Thank our, you. that had that had a very uh, good net rating earlier this season. Darwin doesn't utilize it, so you can't say well. Well, agree. well, 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 well I agree. other teams have this, this, and that, and the Lakers. No, we actually do have that. We just don't utilize. Mm -hmm. it. We don't. We don't play like that. It's, it's, uh, Rich, we, I we, agree we, with the Christian Wood take. But I can't control. I told you guys, and you laughed at me when I told you back in November that Christian Woods has some off the court stuff going on that's preventing him from getting into rotation. Y'all laughed at me. You don't know what you're talking about. And then when the news drops, nobody, he ain't nobody, in the rotation. Don't know what now he has. Stop it. Now he now he has a mysterious injury keeping him out. I told you he wasn't on the court because of off the court stuff. I can't control that he's not getting on the court. I agree. When he was on the court, he was one of the best rebounders next to AD. But I can't control the stuff he was doing off the court yeah, that was can. keeping him nobody off can. the actual basketball nobody court. Can. But but the same thing was happening with Jackson Hayes. Also, Jackson Hayes has, when he's on the court, positive net ratings. He wasn't getting on the court either. I agree. He's just, he's just now getting, getting okay, but, uh, a decent minutes. We I, I like agree. This. We should have been playing like this from the game. My, That's the issue. I agree. Look, I'm love telling you, scam. I agree. It's not my fault that these guys aren't in the rotation. I know it's that this coach. Laker team plays Lamar, better when they Lamar, play big. I just coach. can't. I can't. I can't go knock on Darvin Ham's office and say change it. The net ratings say that they're better when they play big. I agree, it's but they have a lot of monkey wrenches thrown into it. That I don't think Lamar, they expected okay, Rudy to get hurt. They Lamar, didn't expect you. Christian Woods to okay, get in this on, situation, on, MJ, and then so, now they're on, only left so, with Jackson Hayes. So what was the excuse last year then, Lamont? We had Mo Bamba, uh, 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 Tristan Thompson. AD, what was the excuse then? Oh, won't play him. He likes small ball. Five exactly. guards. He didn't There's play no him. I mean, exactly. me, me, but look, no but excuse. do you blame him for not playing Tristan Thompson, who came straight out of the ESPN? He studio? cannot play. He can't coach him. Yes. yes. Okay. I he mean, wasted you, two look, years. He if wasted you feel like two years. Played Tristan Thompson last year. That's okay. I, I can, I can rock with that. But that's last year. Look I can't that. do nothing about last year. Hey. Hey, MJ, look, hey, MJ, remember MJ, remember Thomas Bryant when AD went down? Yes. He was balling. I and, said, yo, when and then put him back on the bench. This see no more action. Exactly. Thomas said, Bryant when requested a retrade. He's not with the Lakers. He requested yeah. a trade. He, I, he requested on, a trade because they weren't playing. Exactly. And and I said it when AD was down. I said, okay, we got but he's show, not a Laker no more. When we got up, when when after those games, I got up on the show. And I said, yo, chat, when AD comes back, Thomas Bryant then earned his starting role with the Lakers. He deserves to be starting. This man was give, giving us like 30 and 14 when AD was down. I, I agree, Reg. But what do you want me to do? But what, what do we what do we when Thomas do Bryant requests a trade and he rolls out? excuses for Darvin. You, you, tried to, you tried to blame Christian Woods off the Who, What excuse did we make for Darvin? You, you just, There's no you excuse did. for Darvin. I'm just to, saying. To blame Christian I'm Woods. saying that. The mock. I'm not blaming the Christian mock. Wood. You've been making a excuse I'm saying for Darwin if you, all if you can't play. Year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm all I'm saying, Reg, is if he's not available to play, then how can Darvin Ham utilize him? Okay, that 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 situation. When Rudy went out with an injury, he couldn't play Rudy. Exactly. Like, stop it. That situation didn't happen. Okay, so what? So year. so Reg, what I'm saying is, what does Darvin Ham do when these guys are not available? How does he play big when the bigs aren't available to be played? He don't play our big. He got the big white ball over there. It won't even play him. 
Exactly, Schmike. He didn't play when we had him. He's the white boy. Hey, what are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Hold on, hold on. We're Ridge. Ball Ridge. In the but Rich, he did he did play Christian Woods because the only reason why we know the Lakers had a great net rating with Christian Woods is because he was playing Christian Woods at times alongside of AD. Exactly, and like I said, you. It's the only reason why that. we even you know they played well together. You should have, like MJ said, this how this how we should have played. We shouldn't have seen it just in spurts. No, we should have played like that. That should have been a, a, one of the foundations for how we played. We should have started the season. Stick one. Like then maybe we thank you. Stick one line five. up. Oh my God! We're, if I was a coach, we'd be in so much rhythm. LeBron would be smoking a cigar. They'd be rested. We'll probably be in the first place right now. First and second. LeBron yeah. and AD waiting for the playoffs. But no, we fight and we might get upset. MJ. That Tennessee, we might get upset. Because he played that stupid, my, my thing excuse is, my French, I hate look. to say it, we played that stupid ass drop coverage that's getting hit for 33s. Oh, that, that, oh my God. That dumb coach is the dumbest coach I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> drop coverage. Or drop coverage. Who come up with that? Trees. That shit is stupid. Or drop, drop, drop coverage prevents threes, um, MJ. Well, he playing something stupid. That stupid off the man letting uh, drama green in. Th no, oh, oh, my God. No, I no, hold, on, hold on, but hold on. No, what you need to say. No, what you see. No, MJ, what you need to say is that since the start of this year, like I was saying when I first came on this channel, the Lakers struggle to defend the three-point line because they're lazy on the perimeter. And they've been lazy on the perimeter all year. Man, this is why they allowed Draymond Green, Dante Exum, and any foul. other bum to knock down threes on. It's not lazy. That's the coach they, foul. They can't guard hey, Hold on, hold on. Who was guarding? Hold on, Rick. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Then. Who was guarding Draymond? Who was guarding Draymond? Because Draymond hit five or seven threes. Well, listen, Draymond. Yeah, but he told him. He, he told him don't check him. Who was guarding? Who was guarding Harrison Barnes when Harrison Barnes knocked down seven threes? You're talking about one-offs. Wait, wait, listen to this. Dre, no, no, told, what I'm, no, I'm not telling you one-offs because I can go through a lot of games where games. you can I can blame everybody on that perimeter. Okay, that's fine. That's coaching, bro. We, we No, so the, so the, the thing is their ball. mentality defensively on the perimeter has been bad. Okay. That's coaching. And it's and it's more to blame. Like, yes, D is horrible. Lamont. Yes, Reeves has been horrible. Exactly. MJ, but no, 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 no. That's, that's coaching. Effort. That's and, coaching and Lamont. Hold on, but, hold on, but MJ, and I agree. You keep bringing that up. That's coaching, no, no, bro. MJ. So that's, MJ, who is look, the coach, MJ, Lamont? MJ, Lamont, who is the coach? MJ, who's the MJ, coach, Lamont? No, no, MJ, no, 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 MJ. You're not I'm getting just away. pointing out who's the problem. The MJ, who's I'm been? just pointing out the problem. The problem is the sorry-ass coach. He done messed up no. my whole summer. Now, it look like we're going to be at home. Looking like a damn fool. The Raiders going to go low. I mean, so they got what they so, want. I so guarantee MJ, you. I bet you if the Lakers Draymond Green don't knocked end the down playoff, five threes, who, who, do you, who, who did you blame when Draymond Green knocked down nine, five threes? I'm blaming him because he told, he told the guys let him shoot. And Draymond Green said it. When they did the interview with Draymond Green, Draymond Green said, yeah. They they told exactly. it was laying off okay. me. And they okay, said so that. what about when Dante Exum knocked LeBron, down seven threes? That was the game plan. LeBron, that was the game plan. About, Even LeBron said it. Even LeBron said. What about when quickly he knocked down six threes? No, no, no the Lakers have been doing coach. this all year. Why y'all act like y'all surprised that another player? That's what we say. That's what we try to tell you. You're not listening. If they've been doing it all year, look, man. Right. Wait, wait, hold up. Wait, <laughs> Reggie. If a coach from Milwaukee, so, so is if they've been doing it all year, and so we 19 and 21, if they've been doing it all year, why the coach from 33? Is, it's everybody to blame. It's 33 and 13. Well, no, no, listen. If the Milwaukee coach can get fired, why we not fire this damn fool? Lamont. I thought so. I heard number. I, no, I was muted. I, heard, I mean, what you want me to do? I'm not about to yell over you. I'm trying. I'm just. I'm trying to have a conversation. Let, let, I'm not trying to yell over you. Get in I was here. muted. Fly high, get in here, man. Yeah, so hey, what, what's up, what's up, fellas? What's up, what's up, Lamont? Uh, what's up, Chopper? Yeah, hey, so, so, yeah, so, the, but the thing about the, the, the thing about the coaching, man, Lamont, we've been talking about this, and that's the whole thing. You, you know, that's what, that's your thing with, with coaching. You know, man, I'm doing it with the Little League, but you just run into bad coaches, and that's the whole thing that like, I was trying to tell 
you know, some the folks on the few of these other channels. It's, it's like if you play the game, you've had bad coaches. It's like it's like uh, everybody can't do it, but Ham just don't do it for me. Did you see how even with this last game, where when Golden State went on that run, he never called a timeout to even just say, "Let's just huddle up, fellas." But he just Thank never you, calls. He don't use his timeouts like he's supposed to. Exactly. And like I say, you know, I agree with you, Lamont, when you say that he's getting better because, but it's you know he's getting better, but it's taking too long. Because LeBron James, he got about about two more. Well, two no, more I said years. he was a C minus at best. Right. I said his no, best coach is C minus. That's still bad. No, hold on, but hold on, hold on. I'm I'm agreeing with you because I was seeing certain things and with the way that he was kind of doing. But now that I look out here, just like these last games, it's just like. You know Anthony Davis out, or you know LeBron. That's what people were screaming and hollering after that 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 um that Boston game, and then, then when uh, when D'Lo went off, it's just like they screaming and screaming about them scoring points and when shit don't matter. But now we got a game that matters, and neither one of them show up. That's coaching, because I'm gonna put somebody else in there. I would have when I came out that second half, I would have had I would have had Spencer Dinwiddie out there. I right. would have had the boy, the, the boy Prince out there, exactly. but I would have changed some things up. Exactly. He just never changed hold on. things up. Exactly. He but top light. Hold on. But top light. See the pro. See, remember, on, remember on. when Brian was cooking Golden State, and it was in the second quarter. They took Brian out with three minutes to go. They were, uh, was it the second quarter? I can't. Remember. I think it was the end of the first. I can't remember which quarter it was. But they took Brian out trying to give him a rest for three minutes, and he left Dinwiddie, Sorry, of course. And Prince, and them guys in. And they allowed the Golden State to push the lead back up to 17 points. So it's just like, gee, with this team, what I noticed when he did that, they have no margin for error because this team is too, it's built around Brian and AD being on the floor. Because when Brian and AD are out there, they can beat and beat, they can whoop up on anybody. But when you take one of them elements out, things start to fall apart. And that's the right, problem. Right. This team ain't okay. designed so, right. for. for so I hear what you're saying, right? I hear what you're saying, right? So, so that means you know what I'm that LeBron sit down. Hold on, that means that when LeBron sit down, all we gonna do is shoot threes. They come. No, they have no margin for error. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold no, they, on, have on. No they have no cushion for error because they have no. They don't. They don't have a this, roster that's built to to sustain okay. without Brown and on, AD on the court. Hold on, man. I hear you. I hear you. But this is when coaching comes into effect. When they just come down and they just jacking up threes. They just jacking up threes. They're not even trying or attempting to attack the rim. You got the law pass with Jackson. Thank you. Out there. They not even attempting none of that. They just jacking up threes because they because they built this boy Austin Reeves up like he's so much. The next thing, well, this is what I want y'all to watch. Watch how sometimes when he's checking the game, how the normal person needs to stand or sit on the floor. He all on the table like he like he king fish. I'm like, they didn't pump this white boy up to make him think that he's just so much. Like, that's what the problem is. The problem is, is that only Austin Reeves is a backup player. I think I heard, I've heard you say that, Lamont. I'm not, not accusing you of that, but. Yeah, I said just, that. He's bad. off the bench player. It's just it's just bad coaching all the way around. Look, you can't even top fly. AD and you can't sit, you can't sit LeBron. And like I say, and you can't win no ball games. Or at least this is all I say to my youngest when I get out there. Just get out there and compete. We're not even competing out there when we don't have our superstars. And that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Yeah. Look, tough fly. What I was telling Reggie yesterday, and Reggie, I'm not even mad at, uh, at Reed. Reed is our backup player. He's supposed to come out the bench. The nigga I'm mad at is pretty boy who Lamont be bragging on. Why? He didn't give me 40 yesterday. He gave me 14, got back on five times. For layups, <laughs> this bum ass nigga, he's a bum. He's the problem. I'm not even mad at the white boy. I don't yeah, know what the know white boy do. I don't know where he's you be getting this stuff from. But like Lamont, Lamont be bragging on oh, boy, that's uh, me. You got the wrong person. When it comes to a clutch game, D Lo be be choking, man. D Lo right. is the choker. MJ, MJ, that's you got the, the wrong person. I'm not no, a D Lo advocate. No, like that. Lamont. Lamont, you was you said, Lamont said, you Reggie said, could go back you said and play LeBron, how you was bragging on D-Lo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, MJ. Lamont, you did say that. You did say that the, the Lakers. What did I say? No, Rich. Said, no, Rich. Remember, you're the king of partial statements. <laughs> Explain to me the fool what I said. Tape. You did a show and you said 
LeBron no. needs to take a step back and let D'Lo facilitate more, do more. Nah, in the that's not what I said. Yeah. Rich. So what you Rich, that's not what I said. So what you say? So this is what I said. So okay. this is what I said. I said it's become okay. very clear that the Lakers are in, in a marriage with D'Lo. They're not trading him. They're not letting him go. If they're going to be married to D'Lo and they're going to thrust him onto the court, if if he's going to be the guard that you start and you give 30, 35 minutes to, then the only way you make use of that is by giving him the ball because Brian is elite with the ball and LeBron is elite without the ball. And so because Brian is versatile like that, you can at least make some use of D'Lo while he's on the floor by just giving him the ball, letting him be D'Lo, because when he doesn't have the ball, he's worthless. So, so I'm just talking so based on – I'm just simply talking on based on how the Lakers are using him. If they're so, going to so, thrust him so, out there like that, so, so you might no as well a, give him so the no ball. AD, so with no AD, the last game, D'Lo mm -hmm. had more opportunities, right. more, 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 more time with the ball. In Thank his you. What did he, Thank what did he do? He showed Getting back to it. And, 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 and so, shooting when, one when, on four. And so the thing is, the thing is, Rich, what I can do is I can ease, I can separate him having a bad game offensively, where I think in one or two of those games he had double, double digit assist. So I'm not gonna completely kill him when he's out there dishing out over ten assists just because he had a bad night from the field because Man, having a bad night numbers. from the field can happen to anybody. Fake news. Lamont, so fake you, news. You, you can't go out and expect to shoot perfect from the field every night. <laughs> fake news, Lamont. Fake news. Nope. He not. Nope. That's not fake Pretty news. Boy he had double off digit assists. That is fake news. I, I look at them stats. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, man. It was a... Uh, oh, this dude's a bum. <laughs> Give me assists when I count. See, y'all not trying to count. Y'all like to make excuses for this dude. No. He's, exactly. he's the third scorer. You said it. Forget the white boy. It's not about the white boy. We know what he is. I can live with it. He's an off the bench player. That point guard should be killing when AD and LeBron ain't in the game. That's He's it. supposed to take over like Mary. But, He's but supposed to take on, over. But, 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 like, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But do we all agree? MJ, MJ. Yo, keep cooking. Oh, MJ. He's supposed to take over yes. like Murray. Exactly. When, when yes. Young, okay, so, so here's the thing. Hold on. Yes. No, 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 time. No, when no, Young no. was out back to back games, they beat the Celtics, the number one team. Did John T. Murray had Thank 24 you. in the game winning shot over Drew Holiday? Exactly. Thank you. Supposed to take over like Murray. No excuses, Lamont. Take over. And then we'll stop okay, talking but, about. But Ridge. He needs to take over. But Ridge. Ridge. Hold on, Ridge. Here's the here's the catch I ain't today. About, I ain't That's about one game. Party now, on Ridge, Detroit. What I want you to do is, what I want you to do is, Ridge, tell me about how all those other games without Trey Young have been going outside of that one good game. Just like D'Lo's one good game versus the Celtics that you say people harp on. Talk about all the other games that Murray has shot poorly in, in. had big losses, bad Celtics. performances. He don't don't live hey, on hey, one good game. Hey, 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 but Lamont, but even with those even with those games. He out there going like a dog. Regardless right, we're not questioning losing, exactly. We ain't questioning his he's heart still, and all that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But top flight, but top flight, you cannot excuse low efficiency in bad games and just say he's going like a dog. A bad game is a bad game, whether you a dog or not. Russell Westbrook was a dog. He was out there having completely trash games for the Lakers. I don't care if he was a dog. Come on, if you you say you a coach. That's what you got Amon, make excuses. He's a player. He's a player. That, that, top flight, like, that has nothing to do with it. You being a dog does not hey, hold, absolve hold on, you from having on, bad on, games. Let, let, him, let him finish. Let him finish. Go, go, go ahead, top flight. Let him finish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, but you want them type of players on your team. With D-Lo, D he, don't, he, don't, he, don't, he don't go hard, uh, man. He saw. This is what I say to you. This is what I, every time you play that. Let me say this to my real quick. At LeBrez, every time you play that clip where he talk about he's a killer, what's that noise? When he talk about he a killer and he doing all this, he don't duck this. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Not tell anybody that's listening here, young men. If you gotta say that shit, then that means that you ain't it. Exactly. Because you ain't gotta say it. You exactly. Out there and and, and I agree. Play, and top flight, it. top flight, top flight. What did I say at the trade deadline? I said Murray is a much better fit for this team than D'Lo. Mm -hmm. You know the problem. The Lakers didn't have the resources to go get Murray, so they're they stuck did, with D'Lo. That's, that's, that's a lie. They did. 
And no, they didn't because they don't have them. No, so what I'm saying up, is, they didn't want to give up so the hold on, Rich. Rich, it doesn't matter, Rich. They didn't make the trade. The trade didn't happen. Everything that I'm talking about isn't based on hopes and dreams of players that could have been. I just try to talk from a perspective of what you have now, and as a coach, because you keep saying as a coach, how I see things can get better as things are now, because I, as bad as the Lakers can be sometimes. I still have a lot more hope in this Laker team than even Laker fans just purely based on basketball reasons, just purely based on the matchup nightmare that Brian and AD are when they're healthy. So I still see right. positives. I see a lot of errors. I see a ton of flaws. But I just – as this team goes into the playoffs, I just want to tell, especially Laker fans, don't be surprised if they make a run. Because right. Lamont, Lamont, you still have you two of the on, biggest gotta, matchup nightmare problems in the league. You got to stand on that, though. You you can't you can't straddle. Okay, the Rich. When did I stand off of it? No, no, no. Don't be surprised if they make a run. That's not really a hard. I haven't stance. changed. That's not really a hard stance, though. Are they going to go on a run? Yes or no? No, what? Because I, I said if because this is the most. No, because this this the Lakers have been the most inconsistent team in the NBA, but. If you look at the Lakers' style of play, playoff basketball style of play favors what the Lakers do best when they're playing good. Slower pace, playing through the post, getting to the free throw line, it mir- that's playoff basketball. It perfectly mirrors what the Lakers do best and where they feel most comfortable playing. So that's why I say if they get into a playoff setting – I actually have more confidence in them in the playoff setting than I do in the regular season where things can get like when you have one game where Brian's out, that won't happen in the playoffs. AD's not going to be out in the playoffs. You're not going to have these big gaps missing and there, there'll be more complete team. Lamont, you got to get into the playoffs first, man. You got to go. You got to play. We got to play two. There'll be a 10 seed. They're locked as a 10 seed. Right. They got to get through these two playing games. And I'm saying, yeah. So what I'm That's saying is, we, so what I'm we got two of the greatest players is, in the world, and we in the ten seat. That and is they, bad and coaching. They, and they and, and you they have a hole. They, this is a oh my god. This is a hole that they Lamont, put themselves in. They got to dig themselves Lamont, out. No, Lamont, Lamont. Can I say something? We it, is in a position. What do you want me? I'm not going to sit up here and just repeat scam. that. Darvin Ham is a bad coach a million scam, times. We all scam, know that. Scam, scam. He scammed us. But we know. That's why I gave him that name. MJ. He scammed us. And MJ, uh, we, he scammed us. MJ, we agree that Darvin Ham has been a below average F grade coach That's on most nights. That's why not we're not guaranteed to get in. Look what you just said. We okay. are not guaranteed so, to win. On. Only take one lucky so, bounce and we sit at home. I know, home. but MJ, <laughs> but MJ, we get the Darvin Ham stuff. I'm just trying to move no past confidence. it because the most the most obvious thing here is that Darvin Ham is a bad coach. Right. That's the now we move I'm past that because you, the one thing LeBron you, has been able to do more than any other player, he's been able to win in spite of bad coaching. So now we see another element. Can LeBron James at 39 years old overcome the bad coaching? Because him winning this year will only add another he, notch to his hey, belt if he's able to overcome this. Reggie. Reggie, right. LeBron and AD going to play 40 minutes a game. That's a, that is a case for disaster. Watch what I tell you. This any, coach can't if coach. anybody can do it, LeBron can do it. If anybody can do it, hey, it's well, LeBron. I ain't worried about, Le- so, so Le- ain't worried about Le- LeBron. What would, be, what would be your first move as the head coach if you are uh, you coming into that, that Tim C play, first playoff game? What would what did you think? Would you would you tweak the lineup? Well, my, my number one tweak was the, the only swap I would make is I would swap D'Lo, Gabe. I would start with Gabe, Vincent, instead of D'Lo because your point of attack defense to start the game needs to be better. Gabe is just a much better defender. I can tolerate Austin Reeves' bad defense because at least he gives effort. And then I like the D'Lo matchup, him attacking second units as, as opposed to attacking first units. If he can come in and attack your second unit, he's going to have a lot of success. He might not like his role, but you need that point of attack defender so teams ain't really getting hot to start the game. I wouldn't touch anything else. Um, I, I would I would keep playing through AD. I would 
run a lot of offense with Brian at the point. I would try to find spot up shots for Gabe to see if you can get him going. Um, and then you have to see who who has the high hand coming off the bench and play off that. I would, but I would want to see Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Lo coming off the bench together to attack them second units offensively after Brian and AD didn't warm down. Right. That's a good match. I like that. Or either uh, Christie with D'Lo and Christie start and Reeves off the bench. But either way, you got to balance it. So that's a good balance because you put uh, Vince, I would have that guard, uh, that Gabe, say, Gabe, I want you to get in rhythm by attacking the brim, and I want you to shoot 15 footers. Once you start right. getting them, then your three-pointers will go. I don't want you to start out shooting threes or you're going to have a bad game. So, bro, because he will play defense. So I like that lineup. That'll be either way. You got to balance. If you balance that guard lineup, you got a chance of winning. He ain't going to do that, though. So we just wasting ourselves talking. <laughs> Reggie, well, we, we just wasting our time. Well, and then, you know, the, dumb dumb, dumb, dumb know, ain't going to do he nothing. He might so not dumb. do it. He's probably not going to do it. He's probably not going to have his hands it, in his pocket. The, the player that I – like, you know how Reggie says he won't play Austin Reeves? The player that I would not play is – I just you just, I thought I don't think Torian Prince is playable. I would not play Torian Prince. No, nah, I ain't gonna say he's that. unplayable. Now nah, he can he's play. Atrocious. He can get fifteen minutes. He can get a stroke. He is no. He cannot. I'm playing Max Christie. I'm playing anybody over Torian Prince. Man, stop it, bro. Come on, man. I, that's, Come that's on. just my opinion. Come on, man. Come on, man. Because Torian Prince like was brought in to say, be a defender. Come on, man. He hasn't even done that. He, Torian Prince was brought in to be a defender. And in, in number and by the numbers, he's probably a worse defender than Austin Reeves no, this year. Because he's trying to put him on guard. No. He better check in small for us, not guard. This year. That's oh. dumb. That's dummy foul. That's dumb, dumb. Your coach, dumb, dumb coach. Ham, yo boy. That That's your boy. You ain't getting away, Lamont. You love. You been bragging on Darwin Scam, and he got the Lakers in the tenth seed with his bad MJ, coaching. Nobody's been bragging on Darwin out. Ham. You gotta yeah. stop, man. Come on, Lamont. He got you on table, Lamont. Nobody bragging on, on Darwin chat. Ham. Oh my God! Come on. Now, were you trolling? Was that a troll? Reggie, what? you gotta play it. You, you gotta play it to all the fans. You said that Darwin was gonna be coach of the year. Were you trolling when you when you were saying that? Now, Chris, I, I, I said that before a game was played, said, and, and that's if <laughs> Darvin Ham was able to. You got to think if Darvin Ham, and I want you to ask yourselves this: if, if Darvin Ham was able to maximize this roster, and let's say this team is a one, two, or three seed in the West, it because when you whenever you predict a coach of the year, that's if everything goes perfectly, right. and things haven't went perfectly for the Lakers. And Darvin Ham's fell out of that conversation. He's made a ton of mistakes. He hasn't learned from last year. But why would you think that he would be the coach of the year this year? Like, what, what, what made you say? That? Well, you because, of, because he's starting the, the year with Brian AD, and I thought he would get off coaches, to a much better start. Out of all the twenty-nine other coaches, why would you single out Darvin and think he was going to be the coach? Because the NBA, the way they give awards, the NBA loves giving new new fish the awards a anytime something Nothing changes much. dramatically in the nba right. they love jumping on the new fish and if, if darvin ham was able to capitalize and have a good year this year he would have been the top dog he just wasn't able to capitalize and we he gonna make excuses I, I really believe we would have had a better year if we would have stayed healthy the thing is is that we haven't been healthy, i agree so that man, stuff that he's been trying it's just, I mean, to get, but I still just watch his coaching strategy and just I just don't I still don't think he's the man for the job is the thing that I say. Because well, Darvin Ham's only good when the lineup is perfectly the healthy. The other, when when the, the he, he doesn't know what to do when when the when the injuries kick in and he has to change rotations up and he has to balance things out. That's where he struggles. But when that everything is perfect and everybody's healthy, Darvin Ham don't look half bad. But when oh. things start to get juggled around, he gets. It's confused. No, nah, I think it's LeBron yeah, and I, 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 I think it's LeBron and have, that, are, that are making Darvin when he, look when he not has, half bad. Yeah, when he had a healthy yeah. roster, I think he's still in trouble. Because then he then he then he really not gonna know who to play. You know, because it's just like um what's my man coming back with a foot injury? If he comes back, um um can't call his name because we got uh, this is Wood. What's the what's the other one that's out um I can't call his name. We got Bando, Bandy. Vando, if Vando comes back, it's really going to be up in the air about what he need to do. I just don't trust in him. I just don't trust his coaching strategy 
against other these other coaches that know how to coach because he's just going to get out coach somebody somebody that knows how to coach, especially if you play the warriors and dealing with uh steve kerr they just going to out coach him because he don't know how to shuffle his pieces and that's the only thing that I say. that's my problem with him and like i say but look, I well, Darvin Ham's biggest mistake was he didn't get his staff. He should have got a, a Mike D'Antoni or somebody exactly. to help him on the sideline. He never went and got real legitimate assistance. He didn't want to do that because he know that they were going. He didn't want to hire no good coach next to him because he would have messed up. They were going to fire him, and that they got. That's why he didn't do that. A slick ass. That's why I call him scam. I'm thinking, me and, let me say it again. Me and Reggie thought this bonehead, bubble gum, big head, hands in the pocket with his girlfriends, D-Lo, and all them Prince. We thought he was going to play the Milwaukee hey. lineup, the big lineup, and he come with small ball. You can't make this up. Right. But MJ, you see, the Laker fans, this is the same thing y'all said in 2021 about Vogel, and y'all got Vogel fired. Vogel got fired because look, let me give you a top fly. Listen to this. <laughs> let me give you let, top fly. Let me give you an example. This is why Vogel got fired. Vogel, we was playing Sacramento Kings. Sacramento was beating us. So Vogel finally looked to the bench, had all them bigs. All right, Dwight, go in. He went in the game, got 15 points, 18 rebounds, five blocks. We won the game by 15. We finally beat Sacramento. The next game, the White Howard didn't play no more. Now he and then he started playing LeBron James at center, Vogel. Then Anthony Davis got hurt because he played Anthony Davis at center. Well, he got all them bigs on his. That's why his punk ass got fired. He's a bonehead too. We just can't not get the right coach to come I they and said play he got fired big. He never fixed the rough situation. No, it wasn't about Russ. I thought he got fired because he failed. He started playing small ball. Killing LeBron playing 40 minutes. Wore the man out. Hold on, hold on. Hey, but MJ, did, did, did Vogel figure out the Russell Westbrook situation? No, they, they, chose, they, chose, they chose Vogel. They chose uh, <clears throat> Russ over Vogel. And then when Ham came, man, that was Ham's. That was his, his bottom line that he was gonna fix that situation that he never did. Oh no, he lied. He scammed y'all. Look, when you when you get a coaching job, down fly, you can say anything. He said, "Yeah, I can. Uh, I can work with Russell. Russell, peace. He all crazy. world. He scammed us, y'all. The chat. Darwin scam scammed us. Hey, MJ. Just like Lamont is on here scamming us, Lamont." And Darwin Ham are hey. boys. Lamont know, Lamont know Darwin scam. That's why he can't talk about him. Because he might get a coaching job why you keep, with why, Darwin scam. Why you keep putting me with Darwin Ham, man? I don't even <laughs> why you keep trying to Lamont, mix me in with Darwin Ham. I think you're right, MJ. I think you might be on to something. Lamont know Darwin scam because he's oh man, that's my boy. I can't really say nothing. Remember that? You go look on y'all chat and Lamont saying I can't really say nothing. Cause he could get a coaching job with Darwin that, Skin. So that's what it that's is. That's why he's, he's trying to get. He's trying to get hired under Darwin. That's what? what yeah. Uh, he's trying to become the assistant for the Lakers. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. That, that, it's that, that makes sense, MJ. You know that, that makes sense. It's 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 just amazing how. Oh man, y'all wild. You know how in the beginning we just talked about just firing this dude. It's amazing how many people are just supporting this. It's just like, have y'all played basketball before? Just to watch the difference. Things that he, you know, you Yo, man, clearly he see he was, just, he was just, he was just out over his head, man. Right. He's an assistant coach. He don't know how to coach. He don't know what he's doing, man. I'm telling y'all, all the players, and then that's why, hey, I told Lamont, I told Reggie, only show I go on is Reggie's show and Dan, the fan, because they listen to you and they let you talk. And then everybody else on the other shows, they want to call you nigga, want to fight you. Cause they think they know basketball. I don't go on them shows no more. Forget them stupid shows. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, but this is. Uh, MJ, we wouldn't do you like that, man. Man, come on, man. I seen your show, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> you you didn't have you didn't have Reggie that time, Lamont, on the debate. You supposed to came in. No, no, Reggie was right. 
All them dudes would have turned on you. So I seen that show. I did well, you do left that. Reggie, you left Reggie out there by himself. Don't, don't go over there, man. He, he, Lamont's running a dirty show, man. He's running. Yeah, dirty man. Show. I oh, seen this man. show. That show was funny. Lamont, you wouldn't even help your boy Reggie. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's, I told y'all he's a dirty player, man. Yeah, he, 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 he's got he, he's, his, his platform. It's, it's, nah, man. We, 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 we got to call everything into question with this dude, Lamont, man. Them dudes on that show are crazy. They want to fight everybody because they want to be right. And they talk over everybody. Oh, my God. But nah, yeah. fans, man, listen. Um, Lamont, we'll start with you, man. Final thoughts, man. No, man. I, I think that my, my next prediction, I, I predict the Lakers make a, a, another surprising run in the playoffs. And um, have another meltdown in the, in the Western Conference Finals. Lamont, we got to get oh! to the playoffs. Lamont, before you can make that prediction, we have to actually get to the playoffs first, bro. Right. No, no, no. I like to make my predictions before the playoffs start. It's right. just you a prediction. To, to, so he said you have to get to the If they make it to the conference finals, I'm going to get Lamont a hundred My prediction is that they win two games easily to get to the playoffs. They win two games easily to get to the playoffs in the play-in, and they make a run to the Western Conference Finals, but then they melt down in the Western Conference Finals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody, okay. to, scre everybody, I need everybody to screen record that because we all know. I'm giving a hundred dollars. We all know Lamont, if you, if you hold him accountable for what he says, he's going to backtrack and say he didn't say that. So everybody, rewind that screen recorded so we all have we all have it and 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 that's that that was Lamont's prediction. That's what he said. That's no, no Red, Red, don't okay. just don't clip it and say that I said the Lakers are going to beat every team by sixty, and you add some extra stuff in that wasn't there. But no, I, Lamont, I don't think the Lakers think can I'm make a run. Here, man? I, I don't I don't do AI, man. I don't right. look. I can't, the, I can't the, the Lakers, me and you both know Reds. The Lakers can make a run. And that's what I'm predicting. No, I don't know that, man. We gotta get we gotta get into the playoffs first. It's not a given that yeah. you're gonna make it out of the playing tournament. I know, but I don't see I don't need to know it. This is that's why I call it a prediction, Rich. I'm just predicting. Okay. That's all right, all. Listen, good call, Lamont. Appreciate you, man. All right, man. All right. MJ, final thoughts, man. My final thought, everybody put this down. If the Lakers make it to the conference finals, I'm giving Lamont a hundred dollars. Write that down. And I know all the Lakers fans, I'm giving him a hundred. If I want to match it, you can match it, Reggie. Top fly, you can match it. Get out. I would love for us to make it to the conference fine. But right now, I don't have no confidence. I lost it. This coach can't coach. So it's only one shot. And Golden State can hit a shot on us, Phoenix. Golden State, Phoenix, or Sacramento can put us out with their guards. That's why me and Reggie and them don't have no confidence. Any one of them teams... A one game series. Even when we got the GOAT, this coach can't coach. So he's going to make dumb line up. He ain't going to call a timeout when it's called a timeout. And I have no, I just don't know. I don't, I think, I think we won and done because he can't coach. Now, if we make it to the conference final, I'm going to get a hundred dollars up to, I hope everybody on here pray that the Lakers make it to the conference finals. That's all. And I'll go from there. But right now, I have no confidence with this coach. This coach can't coach. That's my final thought. Good show. And hit them likes for my boy Reggie. We keep it real on him. <laughs> you still there, Reg? All right. All right, MJ. Okay. I, I don't I, – yeah. I, I, I guess – Yeah, I think he's quick going. Yeah, yeah. Top line, what you got, man? Yeah, yeah it's, just, it, it, it's, just, it's just frustrating just watching them play. You know what I'm saying? To see my man LeBron out there running around with that that team, man, with the, against the Warriors like that. We just know it just look like just no help. You know, and see, I, see, Reg, just what I say. So I take it back to last year when we were playing, uh, I think we were playing Minnesota, and we had Ben on the line, and we was talking after the game about just getting the bed. And it was just like, that was just like, that was just like, like we were saying something wrong. Right, and this is the thing that I say to you, saying, and I've watched this with LeBron James his whole career, uh, how you know when he when they when they would bring they just never brought no help in there, not that they didn't get players for him in in Cleveland, but they was getting people like Mo Williams. You got a guy that can play the point guard position. Why would you downsize? So you got you got Anthony Davis that used to play the point, that can do a variety of things. 
You got LeBron James that can run. AD, 6'11", 6'10", 6'11". LeBron is like 6'9". And you keep downsizing. It's like, that don't even make sense. You got two players that can play the guard position, but then you bring out the guards and put them around them, even though I know you need the shooting. Don't get me wrong. But it's like the Lakers zone. They just don't know what to do. And it's like, and my biggest problem is, I mean, even Wood is cool, but Wood is really not a big to me. You went to the Western Conference Finals. You got bullied by the Joker. And then you don't address that in the off season. It's just, it's just sad. So, man, like I said, my final thoughts is, man, I'm, I'm going a, I'm to a jump on the bandwagon with Lamont and just, just, just hope that we go on a run. You know, and like I say, just keep my fingers crossed in this play in tournament and hopefully we can come out on now, top. But we might we might come out of that. I ain't giving up no money though. Um we coming out the um we might come out this um um play in tournament facing Denver. Right. Now top of the high, let me ask you, were do you think we were better this time last year going into the postseason or now with this team? <sighs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say last year, yeah. You know because with with Austin Reeves and D'Lo in that starting lineup, I just don't I just don't see it. And like I say, you know, I heard him say about them Woody coming off the bench, but I might start Gabe and 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 Vincent. I may start Gabe and 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 then Woody, yeah. And bring D'Lo if they don't show me nothing. But see, that's what I want the fuck. Excuse me. That's what I want the coach to do. I don't want to see Dito. I don't want to see Austin Reeves out there not knocking no buckets down for no 33 minutes. Right. That's too much time when you got other guys on the bench. You understand what I'm saying? That's just too much time for him, for one player that's not doing anything on the defensive side. Right. I would rather have somebody out there trying to defend. And it's like, I, those are the things that I want Darvin Ham to do. I want him to see, what's, watch what's going on and be able to make adjustments. Don't do the same thing every time. Bring, you know, your first sub is going to be uh, 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 Dinwiddie. And your second sub is going to be, do something different. Right. Why do you always sub the same way? Right. It's just, it's it like, just don't exactly. make sense to me. Exactly. You know, you see, Reggie, a, a real coach looks out there and he's watching what's going on. Exactly. And then, and, and, and then he sees, he sees what, what he needs to do. Okay, I need to put some defense in there. Or right. I need to put a shooter in there. Or oh, I need yep. a rebounder in there. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Let me yep. let me let me go ahead and sub. Let me go ahead and sub a uh, 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 Jackson in there to get AD some help. Exactly. It's not. It's not. And you make a good point. It's not just about schemes and and drawing up plays. You're right. You're standing there it, on the sideline. It, it, it goes. Lamar you, knows this. It goes crooked sometimes. Right. And you gotta you gotta be able to react on your feet, almost like you're in the game. And, and you gotta be able you to make tough decisions. Saying? You gotta be able to you make tough decisions. Sometimes, it. sometimes it, 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 the game might call for you know Austin to get benched or D'Lo to get benched. They might, they might just have to pout on the bench. That's right, right. And then, it's, it, he, but he just don't get that. It's like I, I don't like I say Austin playing third, and I and I don't want I don't want to upset his fans because I'm not trading Austin Reeves if I don't have to. But I would love to have – I love that spark that he brings off the bench. But there's nothing wrong. See, that's the whole thing that I say. We, you you got to – we have to change the terminology of benching. Benching means that you're not playing. That's bottom line in my terminology. It means that you're not playing. It doesn't mean that you are – that you when you say benching, to go to the bench or come off six, seven men, you're still playing. But to be bench mean that you you're not playing. That's how I, in my book the way that it was. So, so for Austin Reeves to go to the bench and still be six seven man, it's nothing wrong with that if you're competing for a championship. Why do people think it's something wrong with that? But D but D'Lo has been in the league for too long to have not worked on his defense. If he if he if he wants to be a bona fide star, a third option. He needs to work on his defense. If Austin Reeves wants to be a starter, he has to work on his defense. Damn the offense. Everybody can play offense. But it's like, to me, it's just like the Lakers have, like you say, 
when you look at our when you look at our point guard and definitely the fucking two guard, could you imagine Austin Reeves trying to check Michael Jordan? Right. He runs circle <laughs> or Kobe. Exactly. It, it, it's it's laughable. You know what I mean? It's and and, and and we see it every time, like like I say, K D. You know, every time he they, he sees off three, it's like he's he's cracking jokes. He's and and when I point it out, people think I'm trying to like, you know, right, clown no. it. I'm like I'm showing y'all like the, the the players just they 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 laugh at this at what it's, we're doing. It's, it's real, it's real, you know, it's real. But I know you're getting ready to shut down, man. But I like I said, I wanted to chime in, um, just for checking with, with MJ and Lamont and yourself. Um, but anyway, man, like I say, uh, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, man, and. We'll see what we got. So are we are we bona fide locked into the temp seed? Um, or these, we're we're or ninth these right now, but if we right. if we tie, you know, if we finish with the same record as like Golden State, then um yeah we're gonna be the ten seed because they got the tiebreaker over us. Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I think we can win two games. You know, but like I tell my youngins, let's take one 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 game at a time and keep it keep it moving, man. But my whole thing is is that it just makes me sick when I see them out there and they're not competing. You know, why I feel when I'm sitting here, I'm on the couch and watching as a former player, and I just know how hard that I go. That's what I was just telling my son about me. See, that's like what I was telling my son just today, uh, uh, the other day at work. When I play, if my offense wasn't on, man, I went hard as shit on defense. I just, I, I, you know, I, you know, I, I love the game of basketball to a point that I just love to play both sides of the ball. You know, whether it's steals or whether it's rebounding or whether it's blocking shots, or, you know, or just just shooting the J or laying it up or dunking. I just love the game of basketball just to be able to kind of fit myself in with a group of guys and compete. But I just don't feel that when I watch this new generation play, Reg. And we've been talking about this. That's a totally another conversation that we that we've talked about before. But I just don't see it with these players. They just don't want it. They don't mind these foreigners coming over here and dominating the NBA, and it doesn't bother them. Yeah, they don't bother. Yeah, they don't. Them. They don't. They don't love the game like how they used they to. They don't love the game yeah, like they that. Don't. They taking the money that these um that these people they, that the the pioneers have set up for them, right. and they're not respecting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it goes with even what we're doing nowadays and just in life, what our ancestors went through to get to where we are right now. We don't really respect it how we should respect it because if we respected it how we how we supposed to, we would be so powerful, man. And that's the whole thing. And like I say, you know, when you saw that dream team with with Mike and Magic and all them go over there and dominate the way that they do, I don't think that we we I don't think that I, I believe that they gave them some type of secret as to how to play the game because they don't know foreigners coming over there and they they just taking over. And taking over, man. But like well, I say, well, and, and then you got to think too, though. A lot of them foreigners, like I said, they come in from like, you know, third world countries where they don't have much. You know, you, 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 these players now. You you live in America. You live in a first world country. Right. You got everything already. Like you know right. what I mean. You got running water. You got a roof over your head. You got clothes on your back. You got food on the table. You know, little stuff that we take for granted. You know. Them folks over there would kill for. I mean, I seen a video right. of, of Joel and B and, and where he came from in Cameroon. I think. I mean, you talking about like no pavement, dirt roads. Probably got to go right. outside and use the bathroom. Like it's just a different hunger that they have. You know, right. these new guys these days. Like I said, they. I mean, a lot of these dudes. They got you know their fathers was in the league, so they grew up rich or they grew up with money. Yeah, they don't. They don't really. They don't care about. They don't. They don't have no passion. And then the money that they right. making now. Is so much more than what they used to make. Oh that, my God! Yes. That 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 they don't have to maintain the same level of hunger for you know throughout the course of their career. Career. They they they, right. they they'll make. I mean, we are seeing guys now. They they the rookie extension they get in two hundred plus million dollars. Wow. You know what I mean? Right. If you're a top uh -huh. pick, you come in the league, you go you gonna make 30, 40 million just off your rookie contract. It's just crazy. It's which is crazy, and they don't, and then uh, it's just it's just crazy. So that was the question too that we talked about once before. It's just like, well, who's gonna be the face of the league? But I don't, I don't think that nobody really, really puts in that time, and that's just somebody just probably like like MJ did, like Kobe did, you know what I'm saying? Like LeBron does. Yeah. You know they put in time. When you hear LeBron talk, I was listening to that first episode, and he was talking about how about being just being selfish. 
you know what I'm saying, and her not being with the family and have to have to sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice. But I know these young cats don't want to do it. They want to ride around like Moran with guns all in the head and trying to hang out with the rappers. And they're not serious about the dream, man, of being one of the greats. So right now, I just don't know. I mean, they, they talk about Ant down there in Minnesota, and I love his game. But I'm just, it, will he be able to to be, be to make that sacrifice? Because the, the the greats make sacrifice. They they want to get back. I watch, and that's what I say about MJ. And that's what I love about MJ. I watch MJ get better every year. The most great, one of the greatest players that ever played the game. I watched him get better every year. He worked on this. He did. My uncle said, man, once he developed that, uh, once he developed that fadeaway, he's going to be unstoppable. Boom. And then when he developed that fadeaway, that was it. That was it. You couldn't stop him. They couldn't stop him. He was unstoppable. And it was just crazy to watch that happen. And then I watched LBJ come along and just watch him develop. They say, they, they, you know, the King class, who the fuck? I don't know King. What's about? You know, you know, Prince Charles? He playing basketball? They said, nah, King James. I said, okay. I watched him a couple times. I was like, I ain't calling that joker no King. He's just a basketball player. But I watched LeBron work on this game, work on this game, work on this game. And look at him now. They say they don't, they say Kobe, don't, but Kobe, Kobe can't carry because Kobe was a shooting guard. He played 20 years. LeBron played. LeBron was, you know, a, a, a small forward, a, a point guard, and the, the shooting guard should have the should have the the, the all time leading scorer because that's all he's doing is shooting. But how LeBron end up with it? How he end up with it? But you don't want to call him the best. But I don't know what's wrong with the Reds. But I'm gonna keep watching them though because he got about two or three more years to go. And like I say, my brother think that LeBron gonna play 25 years. He said he think he got a stamp somewhere that he's going to play 25 seasons is what he thinks. So I'm going I'm to stick around to see the, the uh, Jehovah's Will. I'm going to stick around to see him, man. Just see, because um, he just he just a bad brother, Reg. He a bad brother. And, and he get a bad rap because I don't know why. Good yeah. family man, good businessman, hell of a basketball player. Yeah. The hate, the hate is real, top get, of the high. But listen. I, I gotta, I, I gotta it. shut it down. Top of the high, I gotta, yeah, I, gotta I appreciate I gotta go you, my some brother. Things. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey! I don't know Lamar and MJ a little jealous that you gave me a little OT. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it though, man. You know I love the show, man. I love the show, man. And like I say, um, I, I'll talk to you soon, man. All right, Top Fly High, good call, man. Appreciate you. No man. Lakers, no doubt. Yeah, man. Shout out to Top Fly High, uh, Lamont, MJ. Good show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a big game tonight, man. Um, not the Lakers, but we got a big game tonight between the Pelicans and the Kings, man, tonight at 10 o'clock p.m., man. I'm rooting for the Pelicans, man, to win this game. We need fat ass to come through for us tonight, chat. So, like I said, man, let's go Pelicans tonight, man. They got to win this game. Um, if you guys don't know, they're actually the sixth seed. Um, so yeah, they, they're trying to maintain, um, you know, that six spot. So they don't gotta, you know, play in the playing tournament. And then obviously Sacramento, um, you know, they're only a half game ahead of a chat. So I think if they lose tonight, um, you know, we'll be tied with them. I think in the, um, in the standings, they, they got the tiebreaker over us. So, uh, so I think that we'll still be the ninth seed, but, uh, then they play the Suns, I think, on Saturday or something like that. No, I th wait, hold on. Yeah, because they got a tough back-to-back. -back. Oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, they got a tough back-to-back, -back, the Kings do. They got a tough back-to-back. -to -back. They got the Pelicans tonight and then the Suns tomorrow. Two teams that's right ahead of them in the standing. So we need the Pelicans and we need the Phoenix Suns to knock off the Sacramento Kings, man, so we could try to at least get that eighth spot. But like I said, I'll be tuning into that game. And we'll probably go live after the game and talk about that that game later tonight. So shout out to everybody that tuned in, man. BMW said, let's go Chunky Butt. That Chunky Butt is crazy, man. <laughs> chunky Butt is actually insane. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys later, man. Good show, man. Peace. All right. So now that that, that fraudulent ass nigga is off the bat, let me tell you all the real truth. First of all, he talking about somebody buying subscribers.
that's where you get the big jump from 10,000 to 15 to 20 to 25 to 30,000. I don't do none of that. Yeah. I don't do right. none of that. But if your content yeah. was so good, BJ, you would have more than 3,000 subscribers. If you so good, if, you, if what you're doing is so good, you would have more than what you have. And all those names that you mentioned in your interviews, why your channel not growing then? Because your interviews were actually mediocre. And I, oh. I'm talking to you, nigga. What's up? What's up? You in Atlanta? The, 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 the 96 right. Sonic. The fuck off the show, man. I said fuck school, cool kids wasn't cool to me They never really liked me, being hated isn't new to me But uh, I get it, cause when you're winning, they isn't Jealousy has no ending, so pray the Lord, forgive them Every day I gotta thank them for the blessings Rumors about my life, will I ever address them? I don't know, worry about your kicks, my nigga, and what are those? <laughs> yeah, we don't know, music nowadays, when y'all gotta be kidding me Lyrics was whack, gave him an A for his energy You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us So go on and ask him who the greatest is And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills It's real When it comes to my women, if it's over, then it's over. I'm glad that we in it. She coming back when she see how I'm living. She played games with a nigga, but now that I'm winning, she doing everything I say with no questions asked. I'm sucking on the titties while I'm grabbing the ass. I used to daydream about her back when I was in class. So you know that when I fucked, I came fast and laughed. I'm doing me now, bigger rings for the team now. Trying to tie me down fast, tell her slow it down. Baby girl wanna sit and play house So I sat on the couch and put this thing in her mouth How to flow so north, but he raised in the south Got my family tripping cause they can't figure it out I can't wait no more, man, the time is now On my mama, I'ma make a prayer The story is Oh, there you go.